So this is the super glamorous hotel room I'm staying in. And, and as I woke up this morning, I noticed this picture of Marilyn Monroe on the wall. And it reminded me of something she once said. She once said, imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. I'm not a big fan or anything, but I just like the quote. Thank you. Me, me and Dave are, are back shooting in Bournemouth, and we're shooting in the same studio where we used to rent an office space from. Uh, are you excited? Take two. Yeah. Well, what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So today we're shooting these uh, these fireplaces. I think they're like electric ones. These days are always mental. I'm a little bit scared the client's gonna see me talking to the camera. Sorry. Here it is. Yeah. That was, whoa, it was bright. That was quite a long day. I don't know what else to say about this. They're kind of in interesting. We made fireplaces look sexy. I mean, fire, we made fireplaces look sexy. Well. There's a, there's a story about the building we were in and when we worked there that I think I can relate quite well to the Scripted Screen Challenge with Matty. So I want to tell you that now. So basically, I studied a digital media degree in Bournemouth and this was coming to an end in May 2015. Me and Dave had already started this company years before this, but we hadn't had a chance to fully go for it. So, so 10 days after uni finished, Dave moved down to Bournemouth with our other mate, Perkins. His, his name's Sam Perkins really, but there were quite a lot of Sams and so Perkins was, was just easier. Me and Dave managed to borrow 18 grand from a business loan company. We thought this would help us get some more equipment and also help us afford an office space. And we actually found this perfect space in the same building as a film studio, Andy's studio. The money me and Dave put in disappeared quickly. We were obviously on low wages, but we were still spending around five grand a month, which was quite a lot considering we didn't really have the client base or the projects to cover this. We were also not that business experienced, and whilst we did have help in that area, we didn't really want to listen to it, and we didn't really want to do anything that affected the quality of the video negatively. It was really things like over delivery, doing more than you should on a project, because over delivery will eventually kill a company. And that's basically what happened to us. This is a sad day. 14 months of being in the building and we had to leave. So it's back to working from home. It's weird because whilst we didn't hit the jackpot, you know, we lost like 20 grand that year as a company. We gained so much in other areas. We learned a crazy amount about business, about production. It really, really helped us focus and realize why we were making videos in the first place. We built some great relationships with our clients and also people in the building that we still work with to this day. The, the moral of the story really is that you don't have to win to actually win. It's, I really just wanted to tell that just so that maybe some of you can relate that somehow to, to this competition or even future competitions that are coming up. But for now, I've got a phone May. Can we get some lights on? kind of a little cave in here. There's no windows, but the competition looks good, right? There's people, the people yeah, are doing stuff. How many registrations did they sell? Like, they sell like 4,000 or something. There's been like 6,000 downloads of the scripts. Oh, wow. It's incredible. The, the, the extent they've gone to, I've been really impressed with. I saw one that was like, had this like hand thing with like long fingers. Oh, I know. That giant like alien hand or something. That yeah. I know, I think yeah. what people are going to come up with, I just can't even imagine. Which is what's so exciting. Yeah. That's the thing, like, because obviously a lot of people aren't going to win from this competition. But. They win in other ways, I think. You know, you win in experience and practice, and and that's invaluable in the long run. You know, they can use it. A certain group of people will, will like it, and maybe oh, maybe they could do something a bit more like this. And you know, it's 
that's that's the winning I think it's not the the number one winner really is just about the more you create the more you can push your boundaries mm. and especially with your like resources yeah you know like kind of just grabbing rocks out of your attic or your room mm. and just taking anything based on that mm. is I think just worth the, the like whole thing I think you know people can make something in a day if they really put their minds to it you know what I mean exactly yeah it's cool you got your work out for you with it with the film. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, yeah I yeah. Exactly. I'm excited for that. We just drove back from Bournemouth, so it's, we've had a long drive, but we just got back in and then oh. boom, so. Okay. See you, mate. Have a good day. <laughs> Cheers, man. Bye, man. Bye. <laughs> boom. Sweet, done. Mate, Brown. Love it. <laughs> so good. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I love how we both did thumbs up. Where? Did we? We did. End? You did at the end. I did like halfway through. I'm like, that's, that's such a. British, like cheesy British thing isn't it that was fun that was really fun you've got I guess some of the some of the, my favourite stuff that I've done has actually been in just like a few days um, Paris Paris that was good I just want to make something that was another good one that's better create a vibe well I just want to make something was three weeks but it was all like last it, it was still, in like random days. Yeah, that's true. So basically what I'm saying is I think it's good to to just to do something, try something, and then this time next week you'll have something that exists that you wouldn't have otherwise before. Everyone's a winner in one way or another. Cut it.